what's up it's me niece welcome or welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be trying viral tiktok makeup hacks as you can see i am barefaced and that's why so um basically everybody knows the app tiktok even if you don't have it pretty sure you know what it is but if you if you don't like for some case if you don't it's it's just like a whole bunch of videos and there's really no like category um, i haven't done a makeup video in a really 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 long time and so i thought it'd be really fun to kind of go back and film a makeup video so that's what we're doing but i did save um a few makeup hacks and i also saved a makeup look that i want to do so i'm gonna put the picture right here here's what i'm gonna try to do but i'm gonna make it yellow because also, this has nothing to do with anything, but last night, my parents helped me rearrange my room. Okay, I'm gonna put this thingy on. Um, you know, beauty store buys. Okay, so basically my mirror is right here, so I'm gonna kind of be at an angle. You guys already know how this goes, so we're gonna do this. I'm gonna prime my eyes with this. This is the Sigma Persuade eyeshadow primer. This is like the only eyeshadow primer I really use anymore because like, just love it. I've seen in the videos people did their eyebrows after they did their eyeshadow. And I think I'm going to do that too. I'm going to set it with powder. If you guys don't know, I'm kind of a mess. I have not done this in so long. I used to film like makeup tutorials all of the time. And like, I kind of just stopped. I don't know. I felt like they were getting like really repetitive posting a makeup video every single week. And plus, I'm, I wasn't having fun with it anymore. So I was like, let me change up my content. And I like my content now, but I kind of miss doing like crazy makeup looks. Okay, so she did a pink background and at first I was gonna do yellow, but I feel like yellow on yellow clouds might look weird. I decided I'm gonna make it yellow just so I don't like completely copy her look. We're gonna follow this. So first things first, she started off with the lighter color on the top. Obviously, I don't know why I'm doing my left eye first. Oh okay, anywho, she started off with a lighter shade of pink on the top. And also, I'm using the Morphe 35B. This palette is now discontinued, so I'm really sorry if you're going to use it, but it's discontinued. So, and then she went darker. Okay, so that's the light yellow. I think I'm just going to do one eye on camera. I'm gonna do one eye on camera and one eye off of camera, just so it's easier. And then now this one goes in here. They basically look the Hmm. It's like, both of the yellows look the same. Like, they basically look the same. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna take a brown from this palette and I'm gonna put it in my crease right here just so you can like like that so now she's gonna she took like concealer uh, okay now I'm gonna use concealer I'm just gonna use this one and put it on the back of my hand This Sigma one. This Sigma's really, it's not really red, but like. Okay, I'm like so nervous. This is gonna look great. Okay, that was pretty dang good. It's so time consuming. But like I was saying, I don't think I have an orange eyeshadow. Oh, actually, I think I do. It's in this palette. Please. Oh, yeah, buddy. It is in this palette. Big so, obviously, the brush is not wet. I mean, it's not dry. So you guys can basically see what I'm doing. I feel like this is gonna be really long if I sit here 
and like do every single one so i'm gonna come back when i have the rainbow on this eye done and this eye done and i will show you guys hi guys so i'm back and i'm finally done with the eyeshadow now okay a lot has changed i started over and i made the eyes pink instead and i did this because like the yellow was fading like you couldn't even see it seemed like i just had a rainbow on my eye and i kind of wanted like a little bit of color this one is obviously way better than this one this one's like really big and like chunky this one kind of like so they're like very different if i take pictures i'm taking it from this side but we here now we here okay so now the next step that she did was she painted the clouds oh my gosh this is gonna be such a struggle my clouds are gonna be yellow i'm gonna be using this ofra um eyeliner it's like a paw eyeliner and um through optically they sent this to me so i'm gonna be using this so I don't really know how to draw clouds. I'm gonna practice real quick. Does that look like a cloud? <laughs> this is about to be a mess. Okay, I feel like that's a pretty good cloud. Like, I'm gonna do one right here. We gonna come back because it's nine minutes. Okay, I am finally done. They obviously look completely different, but I really do like how they look. I think it turned out good, and there's eyeliner on my nose. I think it turned out like pretty. I think it turned out pretty well. Like it's not. I don't think it's bad or anything. I know I didn't really show the eyeshadow too much, but like it was just a really really long process. It took me like maybe 40, 30 minutes to do each side, and if I would have film that like no. okay but now i'm actually gonna do my eyebrows very quickly believe it or not i'm almost out of my anastasia dip brow this was my first one i ever got believe it or not and i've had it for a very long time not gonna lie i've had it for a long time um i low-key want to invest in like an eye pencil though but those go really really quick for as much as i do my eyebrows eyebrow pencils like are gone in like two weeks tops and like that's too much money let me know what are your guys' favorite tiktoks to watch i personally like i like watching dancing tiktoks like charlie d'amelio d'amelio yeah that's okay but i really like i just like to laugh that's my thing i love laughing and so uh i just i don't know i love laughing so i personally like funny videos on tiktok yeah okay so this is basically now where we're going to get into the tiktok life hack uh you probably have seen this one it's literally everywhere if you wear makeup watch change your whole routine and try this instead moisturize first then after moisturizing take some translucent powder i usually use the fit me one and i just lightly dab it all over my face not too much then take some setting spray it could be any setting spray i usually use the nyx one after the setting spray, take a primer and just put your primer. Also, wait for the setting spray to dry first. Then, just put on your foundation and just see what happens. And I've only seen people with, like, really, really clear skin do this. And my skin is, like, my skin's okay, but there's more texture on my skin. And all these people have, like, glass skin. So, okay, so first things first, she said moisturize first. So I'm going to moisturize. Moisturize. Some powder. I'm actually going to use this one. This is by Black Radiance. This one's my favorite. You guys already know if you've been watching. This is my favorite. So I'm going to take this. She said, She said lightly dab it, but I don't want to use a beauty blender. I'm just going to like. setting spray we're gonna use um mac i don't think i'm gonna put any makeup on my forehead okay now we're supposed to take our primer i'm gonna use the Too faced hangover rx primer i need a new one 
need a lot of new stuff, but I'm gonna take this primer and she said to put it all over your face when your setting spray is dry. So this definitely feels weird, but it doesn't feel bad. So we're gonna just also I have not mastered not looking at myself. I've realized this whole video now, I have probably looked at myself and not into the lens. So I'm really, really sorry if that's irritating. Wait for the setting spray to dry first. And then just put on your foundation and just see what happens. Actually, I'm not gonna put on foundation. So if this doesn't work, maybe it's because I didn't put on foundation, but I'm just gonna put on concealer, but put it all over like it's foundation. Cause I don't feel like mixing, I'm sorry. I'm being very lazy. Um. Recently, this is my favorite concealer. Like, it is. It's going crazy. Wow, that looks so good. Whoa, that looks so good. We'll test. We don't have to see this side. Because this side has so much texture compared to the other side. Oh my goodness, my skin looks so good. I'm gonna use a. Why did I say it like that? I'm gonna use a brush real quick because I kind of put on too much concealer. I did not need all this concealer like that. Okay. You guys can be the decider. Maybe it looks, I get more detail in the camera. <laughs> I think that this is pretty dang good. Like this is probably how I'm gonna do my makeup from now on. I have to finish off the eyeshadow. Two. Now we're gonna finish off the eyeshadow. Basically what she did is she took the pink, I'm using this pink, and then she just put it under her eye like this. Okay, I kinda need to blend it, it's just like way too harsh. so long to get this rainbow but it probably won't take as long because I just have to like draw the lines down so I'm doing this part off camera I'm gonna come back because I'm basically just drawing the rainbow again <sighs> wow I wish the clouds were probably smaller to fit but I think I did pretty good I came back on um, just so I don't do the whole eye thing because I realized I've kind of been like okay I'll get off camera and I'll show you guys later but now I'm basically going to just draw more clouds. And then now I'm going to just put like the little dots that I did on the top because I'm not putting glitter because that's entirely too much work to clean. The next hack I actually found on TikTok, I used it a while ago, but I'm going to use it again. If you're someone that struggles with putting falsies on, here's a tip that might save your life. Grab your glue, preferably one that has a brush. Put it on your eyelid the same way you would apply eyeliner. Grab your eyelash and apply. Okay, so I put a thin line on. And I'm going to do the other side. I will say it is a little bit harder to take it off because like you have to take it off the lash thingy. But for the most part, it's pretty good. Now for the lip gloss I'm gonna be using, it only makes sense. I think we use the Fenty one. I'm basically done. So I don't know how much footage I got of this. This was really, really complicated, not even gonna lie. I think that is the look. So thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if you want me to do anything else TikTok related. Okay, so my camera's about to die, so I can't really say too much. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what else you want to see from my channel. I love you guys so, so, so very much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Wow. I <laughs> think you can see me. Okay, hold on.